Spirulina is a type of cyanobacteria, often referred to as blue-green algae, known for its nutritional value and potential health benefits. Spirulina belongs to the phylum cyanobacteria, formerly known as blue-green algae, and the genus Arthrospira. It is a multicellular filamentous organism that thrives in warm, alkaline and highly saline environments, such as freshwater lakes, ponds and alkaline waters. Spirulina appears as tiny spiral-shaped filaments or helices, giving it its characteristic name. Under the microscope, spirulina cells are typically long, thin and coiled, resembling a spring-like structure. The colour of spirulina ranges from blue-green to dark green, depending on environmental factors, such as light intensity and nutrient availability. Spirulina is highly nutritious and considered a superfood due to its rich content of essential nutrients. It is an excellent source of protein, containing all essential amino acids, making it a complete protein source for vegetarians and vegans. Spirulina is also rich in vitamins and minerals, including vitamin B12, iron, beta-carotene, and gamma-linolenic acid, GLA, and omega-6 fatty acid. Additionally, spirulina contains bioactive compounds such as phycocyanin, chlorophyll, and carotenoids, which contribute to its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Spirulina has been used for centuries as a dietary supplement and food source in various cultures, particularly in parts of Africa and Central America. Studies suggest that spirulina may have several potential health benefits, including boosting immune function, reducing inflammation, lowering cholesterol levels, and supporting cardiovascular health. Some research also indicates that spirulina may have anti-cancer properties and could help in managing conditions such as diabetes and allergies, although further studies are needed to confirm these effects. Spirulina is cultivated commercially in large-scale open ponds or closed bioreactor systems under controlled conditions. The algae require warm temperatures, typically between 30-35 degrees C, high alkalinity and sufficient light to grow optimally. After cultivation, spirulina biomass is harvested through filtration or centrifugation and then dried to produce spirulina powder or flakes for consumption. While spirulina is generally considered safe for most people when consumed in recommended amounts, some individuals may experience adverse reactions such as digestive upset or allergic reactions. It is essential to source spirulina from reputable suppliers to ensure product quality and minimize the risk of contamination with harmful substances or toxins. Thanks for watching this video. For more interesting videos and information, keep watching Z Facts.